I got was from one of the senior mechanics at the shop I worked at at the time. And he was a true blue super tech. And he told me, hey David, as long as you're turning wrenches, you're gonna have callbacks. You know, so don't, don't beat yourself up too bad over them. But I had done a maintenance the other day on this little, couple little fridges, little prep tables. And then they called me back and told me that it's uh, running at 50 degrees now. And it did, it had a, a plugger condenser, it had a plug condensate drain, and uh, let's get out there and see what we're getting into, see what's going on with this thing. It's the uh, Tosa brand, the Chinese fridge, and uh, let's get out there and take a look. So as you can see, it's at 37 degrees, and the complaint is, is that the temperature will go up and down dramatically. And what I find on these units, you'll see here, the evaporator fans turn off when the unit gets to set point. And then the top tubs up here on the condiment section doesn't get cold enough. So I'm gonna go ahead and wire this thing up to make the evaporator fans run full time. If you haven't worked on these units before, the front display is just an interface only. It looks like a Dixel control, but the actual temperature control is right here at the back of the unit. The first connector is your line power, the second connector is your switch leg for your compressor, red and black are your evaporator fans. The front console is just an interface, this is the actual temperature controller. And you have a white and a yellow switch leg for the compressor, black and white for power in, red and black for evaporator fans. I just took the evaporator fans to the 110, they're going to run all the time. Like a regular old fridge. I've got the true makeup station two door. <clears throat> Get a frost pattern like that. It's gonna be low on charge. Let's see what we got here. Nine ounces, 134A specialer. Let's pull it out to the back of it, see if there's any ports on it. Let's get the old knee pros going. Then we'll grab Tippins. We'll go some knee pros and then some tippos. Captain Tippins and some gauges and we'll see how that charge is looking on that unit. All right, this one's never been tapped into. Uh, there's no service ports on it. Can answer. So I got the super grease gone. Yeah, not, not super bad. see what the uh, condensate drain looks like. All right, so I cut in an access fitting in a new liquid line dryer. We've got her on the vacuum pump. Okay, I'm converting this one, the R450A, the R134A replacement. I'm gonna weigh in the nine ounces of R450 Alpha. And let's see how she does.
Okay, you'll see we're running it right around 12 PSI on the suction. Um, I'm gonna show you the temperature pressure chart on some photos here. And that's where it's gonna run with the R450A for, for right around between a 15 and a 20 degree evaporator. This is what you're gonna see. Coming to NorCal Refrigeration and HVAC YouTube channel. Stay tuned for episodes. refrigeration in HVAC. <laughs> Remember to like and subscribe and we'll see you on the next video.